Hey guys, in this session, let us see when to look at VDLS session log ops view. So this view will record all the operations like Ormon backup and restore, parallel query, recovery, both crash and media, launch full table scans, sorting. Okay, and these are all the conditions. So if the table scan exceeds 10,000 formatted blocks, then uh, that operation will be included and that operation should be greater than 6 seconds. Okay, so here how operation means the uh, task or activity which is performed in the database. Uh, it may be a SQL statement or a PL SQL procedure or whatever it may be. Okay, and DBA is often confused on uh, using this view. Sometimes um, the operation may be longer, but it will not be included in VDLS session long ops. Why? Because that SQL statements um, should not have exceeded 10,000 formatted blocks or uh, um, it may not be more than 6 seconds. Okay, so but obviously if the um, session is considered as long running session it should be more than 6 seconds but still sometimes due to performance issues in the database um, other queries will be aggressive and uh, they consume all the resources. Okay, so due to that reason a simple query will be very slow okay so and that query will be long running okay and if that query is performing some index operations okay those um, tasks will not be included in VDLS session long ops I will include index long operations okay so, uh, whichever query which is um, performing index scans with small chunks of uh, data scan, like um, a table access by row ID, so all these are uh, uh, considered as uh, index operations. Okay, for so whichever query uh, use index, all those queries will not be included in VDLS session long ops. Okay, so even if this um, index can execute for very long time, they will not be included. Okay, so I will uh, make this as an exception. Okay, so this is where the confusion uh, arises. Okay, so DBA um, can see that the query uh, run for a long time and more than six seconds, but uh, that query will be processed in uh, some small chunks. Okay, so let us practically see how this work. So I will use one session for uh, monitoring. So you can also use whatever uh, columns that you uh, require in this query. So currently um, I can see one of the queries running in my database and you can see that elapsed seconds is greater than uh, 6. Okay, so this is not the current one which I am executing. This is maybe some uh, older um, operation which is running. So what I will do is let me execute a large full table scan. So if I say select count of star from VDL session long ops. So I can see one session and let me check the count of the um, large table. Okay, so I have inserted uh, some more rows into this table. Okay, 
so i have uh, 2 million um, uh, rows which is stored inside this table so let me do a large full table scan if i say select star from uh, this table you will be able to see one more uh, row you can see right so you can confirm this using select sql text from v dollar sql and uh, specify the sql id okay so this is the query which we executed now also you can check the execution plan using this uh, query so we can use this uh, sql id inside uh, this query and uh, specify the child cursor as null so here you can see the plan used is table access full okay it is very clear okay also you can see the um, number of blocks so number of blocks uh, which are scanned is more than 10000 so that's why um, this operation is included in the uh, vdl session log ops view so now let me cancel this query so next uh, what i'll do is i'll just set the timer okay just for your uh, understanding purpose so if this cross 6 seconds then uh, that particular operation will be included so let me again execute this query so here uh, both the old operations are included so one more row needs to be inserted if i execute this query again okay so let me execute this query and parallelly start the timer as well so after six seconds this should be included you can see right after six seconds so i started the timer uh, uh, very um, early so that's why uh, you cannot see the time difference but you can also uh, just monitor using some timer and uh, verify if that operation is included after uh, six seconds okay here you can see eight seconds right so before that uh, you are not able to see uh, this particular row and uh, when it crossed six second you can see over here elapsed seconds become eight seconds okay so i cannot exactly um, uh, show you uh, by coordinating each and every activity but you can uh, just for your verification purpose you can uh, see this elapsed seconds column okay so now let me do some index operations or uh, small scan so let me check the minimum and maximum uh, id from this table uh, this value may be different for you okay so what you can do is you can just um, use some column over here by not scanning all the columns from the table okay so this is not a wide uh, scan so here I'll just um, type in some number which is uh, greater than this value so here there are almost seven digits so I will include one more zero okay so now this will not be included in VDL session logops so there are three rows one more row will not be added 
So why? Let us uh, check the plan. First of all, let us check the SQL ID. So this is the SQL ID, I believe. So that's fine. So let me directly display the plan uh, in the session level itself. So this um, operation says X ID less than 10,000. And uh, why this uh, is not included? Because of the number of blocks that is being scanned. Okay, so there is no solid evidence uh, that we can see how many blocks are being scanned. Okay, but even though it is a uh, full table scan, still uh, you cannot see this operation, right? So this is. Uh, considered as a small full table scan okay so if you are scanning the table wide um, for a particular table then that will be considered as a large full table scan so you can also um, use parallel uh, hint So you can use any of the parallel uh, value. So now let us check if this parallel operation is included. So you can see uh, that the parallel is also not included over here. So this means that um, the parallel is uh, used in small chunks. Okay, so that's why it is not included in VDLS session long ops. Okay, if it is a large parallel uh, scan, then obviously this will be included. So the thumb rule is that if uh, the operation is small, then it will not be included in Vidala session long ops. And if the operation is large, then it will be included in this view. So what uh, other activities that you can do is, you can just gather statistics. So this will definitely be included. You can see, right? Why? Because the amount of block that needs to be scanned will be huge. This table is very big. So obviously all the um, statistics gathering will be um, included in VDLA session long ops and also the Ormon operations. You can see, right, Armand full data field backup. So this is the whole data field wide uh, scan. So that's why it is included. Okay. So this uh, Vidala session long ops view um, is specifically designed for Armand uh, backup and restore uh, or recovery purpose. Okay. So this is uh, this view is mainly used for monitoring 
the backup progress okay and other of the um, operations like uh, full table scans or uh, whatever it may be uh, index uh, activities are just uh, used as a secondary uh, purpose for this view but the main uh, goal is for arm and backup and restore okay and you can also uh, use this link to uh, check the details of this view so it will be uh, quite helpful for you to uh, understand why this use uh, this view is used okay